You could have won without any disqualification. There's no automatic disqualification, but there is the winner. And the winner is Jeff Spice in uh, 158 and 4. She equaled the track record for two-year-old trotting fillies, and she is a very rich filly right now, the winner of the Breeders' Crown two-year-old filly trot. We'll be back with the official order of finish after a timeout. We're back at Garden State Park where you're looking at Jeff Spice, the winner of the Breeders' Crown two-year-old filly trot. This Super Bowl filly was the winner over more heavily favored horses. She uh, stayed trotting and she held on to the wire in an excellent stretch drive. Jeff Spice, the winner. Kenny Rice gets to enjoy Winter's Circle ceremonies. Let's get on to Kenny in the Winter Circle right now. The man having the most fun down here right now is Mickey McNichol. Congratulations. Nice drive, Mick. And the key, I guess you get him trotting the whole time with these two-year-old fillies a lot of times, isn't it? Got a kind of a nice trip with a good filly and a uh, little bit of luck right near the wire. I thought she was going to be second, and she dug in right at the wire. As we take a look at that now, getting ready for the stretch, did you feel real comfortable with everything? I mean, there's a charge at the end here, and you knew that you had uh, Armbroy Claire, one of the horses, coming up on you. Yeah, I, I kind of knew the ones inside I was going to beat, but uh, somebody was charging outside. It was Ronnie, and I kind of thought he actually got up about a head, but... She took a, I hit her a couple shots right near the wire and she, right here, and uh, she came back on. It's a good race. Indeed it was. As we say, you don't always know a lot of times, especially with these, uh, the young trotters, do you? As was evident right at the start, John Campbell having some problems with uh, Bright Light LaBelle, one of the favorites. Yeah, I never did get to see that. You know, the race, uh, these two-year-old trotting fillies, uh, a lot of its position. I was lucky enough to get in good position early. Yeah, you did. You looked like you started out in the second hole, you landed third, and it seemed to have everything going pretty much the way you wanted, didn't you? Down the back stretch, some uh, problems around you, some people breaking. Yeah, she's a... Uh, Jimmy Glum trains her. He's done a really good job, and she's nice and relaxed, and uh, she's a good trotter, and everything kind of went away tonight. Not a lot of talk about Jeff Spice, although not uh, a big underdog. She went off at 7-1. to one. I know you had faith in her. Well, she won a pretty good qualify last Saturday. She won 58-4, last quarter 28 flat, and uh, I kind of thought if Brakes went my way, she could get there, and uh, thank God it did. Nice drive, Mick. I know you want to go over there and have your picture made with everyone else. Congratulations again. Thank you. Mickey McNichol, the winning driver. Sharon, back to you. Well, Kenny, Mickey McNichol's happy. So are the people lucky enough to hold tickets on really any of these fillies. Look at the payoffs. Winner, Jeff Spice, paying $17.1140 and $9.60. Armbrew Eclair paying $10.20 and $7.60. Brina Almerhurst paying $17.80 to show. We'll be back with more from Garden State in a minute. Back in Garden State, where Jeff Spice is still in the winner's circle, enjoying the ceremony, standing like a, the quiet, well-behaved filly she is. I think the owners probably enjoy it a little bit more because they get to spend the money. Jeff Spice will just get her normal hay and grain, although she is the two-year-old filly champion for the Breeders' Crown for 1985. She's a daughter of Super Bowl who uh, stands at Hanover Shoe Farm in Pennsylvania. Super Bowl we met earlier. Well, he has got something more to be proud of right now. Kenny Rice is in the winner's circle. Let's go to Kenny. Okay, thank you, Sharon. Mr. Ed Friedberg is getting ready to accept the trophy again, and I know a lot of people are happy uh, right behind you here enjoying the celebration. Get your trophy first. Thank you. Ed, uh, on behalf of the Breeders' uh, Crown and Gar uh, Garden State Park, we present this trophy to you, and a lot of good luck in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you for being with us tonight. My pleasure. Ed, congratulations again. I know you had a lot of faith in your filly. She remained calm throughout the night, not only in trotting the mile, but also in standing here in the winter circle. She's a wonderful gal. She really is. She's a great filly. This is the first time she's raced against horses of this caliber, and we just took a shot. What, what made you decide to put her in tonight? What was the race that really you think turned it around and you thought she was ready to go against this quality? Well, I put her in before I realized that she was this good. She qualified last week here in 58 and 4, came the last quarter in 28 flat, but I put her in a few days before then. I just thought that she was good enough. I just took a shot. It was a long shot. Well, congratulations. Long shots sometimes come in. It did tonight. Thank you very much, Mr. Ed Friedberg, one of the owners of Jeff Spice, the winner tonight. Sharon? Yeah, they do come in. In fact, this one paid $17 to win. We're going to take a break as you take a look at the order of finish for the two-year-old Billy Trot. 